at five. A paramedic trusted to save lives is facing some shocking allegations. Police say he helped himself to a supply of morphine and then tried to cover up his tracks. News 4's Lou Raguse is digging for you tonight. Lou, what's the latest? Well, Donna Jackie Brandon Landite is charged with reckless endangerment, falsifying records, and several counts of felony theft. And now the police and fire departments are making sure no patients were harmed as a result. It's a troubling crime for anyone who's relied on emergency services. Bradford police say a paramedic stole morphine from ambulances and refilled the bottles with saline to hide it. His admission states he is uh, addicted to narcotic painkillers. Brandon Landite is 32 years old and worked for the Bradford Fire Department for the past 18 months. Earlier this month, fellow paramedics found bottles of painkillers had been tampered with. Suspect admittedly tried to super glue those caps back on, but the glue didn't adhere. Police say the paper trail led to Landite, and he confessed when interviewed. According to court papers, he also admitted to saving leftover painkillers after treating patients and injecting the drugs into his own body. I asked Bradford Police Chief Chris Luco if anyone treated by Bradford paramedics received the wrong injection as a result. We have no reason to, to believe that is the case at this point, but it is possible. Cross-contamination isn't suspected, but is possible. And because of that, they're testing Landite's blood for communicable diseases. Does this raise any sort of alarm that the public should worry about the city's ambulance service? I don't believe so. They had an employee that went astray, and that happens in all, all fields. Just happens to be that he was a, a fireman and a paramedic. Brandon Landite has bonded out of jail and is currently in rehab. 